Hi, this is Glenn Koppel, Minister of the Word for New Hope Gospel Ministries, the home of the Getting to Know Jesus Bible Study Series. I was just looking on Facebook here, one of the uh, people that I'm link linking up to or connecting with, they had a verse here. It says, Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You know, that passage comes from Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. And it's a very important passage for us to consider. One of the problems that we have in our churches today is Christians who are acting like the world. They're still living like they lived before they became Christians. They haven't allowed God to come in and transform their hearts, their minds, their souls. They want to say, well, I believe in Jesus, and uh, I knew Jesus, and yet they're doing things that Jesus said, if you love me, you wouldn't do these things. We are challenged by and called by the Apostle Paul to change the way we think. Jesus himself said, unless you repent, you will also likewise perish. It's important for us to build our love relationship with God, let Him come inside of us and change our hearts and change our behavior. Stop doing those things that you know are wrong. Having sex outside of marriage. Telling lies because you don't want to admit the truth. Cheating because you think you can get away with it. Oh, and the gamut goes on. I spend way too much time listing those things. I would rather spend time challenging you. I beseech you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, that you present yourself to God as a living sacrifice, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed, be changed. When you go home from church and you go to your job in the middle of the week, do people see somebody who has been changed? by the blood and the power of Jesus? Do they see somebody that doesn't engage in the things he used to do? Uh, somebody who shows the love of God and respect for God and respect for others? Or do they see somebody that's just going on and doing what you've been doing all your life? I hope you are transformed. I hope your love for Jesus is so great that that it'll just continue to change your life. Because you are like me. I've still got things I'm working on. But because of my relationship with Jesus, I know I have the power to change those things in my life. I know that Jesus gives me the wisdom and the, and the love that I have for Him that I want to change those things in my life. It's a battle we'll fight until we go to heaven. But the problem is some people aren't fighting. Some of you aren't standing up to temptation. Some of you are continuing to live like Jesus isn't your Lord and Savior. This is why I'd like to encourage you to get into a Getting to Know Jesus Bible study. Start one at your church. We're working to start a Getting to Know Jesus Bible study in every church in the United States. Get your friends together. Because here's what will happen. As you study the life and teachings of Jesus, you will subconsciously start to grow in your love for Him, You'll start to say, you know what, I used to do this, I don't want to do that anymore. And you will change, not because you realize, oh dear, I've got to change, but because Jesus will take the desire for those things away from you. They will not be fulfilling to you anymore. Build that relationship with Jesus. Getting to know Jesus is a Bible study tool that will help you do that. Contact us. For more information on how you can start your Getting to Know Jesus Bible Study Group. And be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might prove what is the good and perfect and acceptable will of God. These lessons are taken from the Getting to Know Jesus Bible Study series and are supported by your gifts. By partnering with us in the financial needs of this ministry, you are participating in fulfilling the Great Commission taking the gospel to the whole world by internet technology. To send a tax-deductible gift, please make your check out to New Hope Gospel Ministries and mail it to 6910 Scenic 
Hills Boulevard in Lakeland, Florida. You can also go to www.gettingtoknowjesus.org and donate online or order your Getting to Know Jesus books for your own Bible study of every event in the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. Thank you for partnering with us as we fulfill the Great Commission. God bless you and have a great week.